Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will be trying out the Citrus Strip Cricut hack using powder coated tumblers. I discovered this hack thanks to M2C1 Designs on TikTok, so shout out to her for sharing this genius idea. Now let's go through the list of supplies you will need for this project. The first thing you'll need are obviously some powder coated tumblers. Citrus Strip. You can find this product on Amazon or any home improvement store. You will also need some painter's tape. I get mine from Dollar Tree because it's very affordable and it works great. Permanent vinyl. You can use any brand of your choice. I like to use the Starcraft HD. To go along with your vinyl, you will also need some transfer tape. A paintbrush. A pair of gloves. A tumbler holder, which is totally optional, but it will come in handy. And lastly, a heat gun. And of course, we can't forget about the Cricut machine. On Cricut Design Space, you could either choose to search through their images or upload your own. Since we'll be using Citrus Strip to create an engraved effect, it will be easier for you to work with single layer designs. So a thing that I like to do is go over here on filters and go down where it says layers and click on single. This will filter all of the single layered designs that you can use. And then from here, you can search whatever category you like. Also, try to pick out something that doesn't have too many intricate details, such as this design right here. It's beautiful, but for this particular project, it won't be the greatest option. These are the two designs that I picked out. I thought they would be perfect for my tumblers. I'm using my measuring tape to figure out how big to make my designs. This one will be about 3 inches wide by 2 inches in height. So I think this one will be good with three inches wide by about two, two and a half inches high. Now take out your cutting machine and let's get ready to cut. I'm using the Cricut Explore 3 machine, but any cutting machine will work. Also, I forgot to mention that the color of your vinyl does not matter. We're going to be using it as a template, so it's going to get removed anyways. Load your vinyl on a cutting mat. I'm using this barrier tool to make sure everything is nicely adhered on the mat and to make sure there's no air bubbles. Load it into your Cricut machine. And press the go button to cut. Once your machine is done cutting, you can flip your mat over and remove the vinyl. For this project, the weeding process is a little bit different because we're creating a template. Instead of weeding around your design, you're weeding inside your design. So it's going to be the complete opposite. Now to make that process easy for you, I recommend trying out the reverse weeding hack. So you basically take your transfer tape, trim it down, and you want it to fit the entire design. this one a little bit more take your transfer tape and place it right on top of the entire design use a squeegee tool to burnish it and then flip it over and do the same remove the paper backing the entire piece of vinyl should be transferred onto your transfer tape. Now you can proceed weeding the opposite of what you normally would. You could also do it the other way around, but in my opinion, this way is a lot easier because you already have it transferred. And when you flip it over, it should look something like this. I'm going to go ahead and weed the other one. 
And whenever you cut these out, make sure you leave some space around the entire design. That way, whenever you transfer it onto your tumbler, it will have a good grip. Again, I'm just weeding the elements of the design. Now that we have these templates ready, we can apply them onto the tumblers. Before you get started on the citrus strip process, make sure you have something that's protecting your table. You don't want to accidentally remove any paint from your actual table. This is where the tumbler holder comes in handy. I'm just going to place it down and then put my tumbler on top. This is going to prevent the tumbler from rolling around the table. I'm going to wipe down the surface using some rubbing alcohol. Before applying the stencil on the tumbler, cut a few slits around the design. By doing this, you are giving the decal a little bit more flexibility and help it lay flat. It's important that the stencil was sealed completely, so after removing the transfer tape, I took my heat gun and went over it for a few seconds. Next, put painter's tape around the entire stencil to prevent the product from coming in contact with the rest of the tumbler. I repeated the same prepping process on my other tumbler. With the paintbrush, start applying a nice layer of citrus strip on your design. Make sure you brush on the product from every direction. Then take a piece of aluminum foil and wrap the tumbler. going to come back in about an hour to see how the process is going. After an hour, before removing the aluminum foil, I added heat to the area with my heat gun for about one minute. When I uncovered the tumbler, you can see here that the powder coating had been raised so it's ready to be removed. You can check it by carefully scraping it off with some tweezers. I removed the citrus strip gel using a wipey, then I took the tumblers to the sink to scrub off the powder coating with a sponge. Remove the vinyl and keep scrubbing until you have completely revealed your design. I ended up scraping some of it off with a weeding tool because I wanted to get the cleanest edges that I possibly could. I absolutely love how these tumblers turned out. They look like they were engraved, but we were able to achieve these results using the citrus strip technique and vinyl. As always, let me know if you have any questions in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys next time with a new DIY.